Amazon tried to pretend like everything was fine when it came to Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power. They went out and they attacked any and everyone who spoke up about the bastardization of this story and the destruction of Tolkien's world. But what did we find out? Oh yeah, that's right, that the most expensive show in television history was actually a massive flop, that viewers fled, that almost two-thirds of people that started this show had no desire to finish it. This was a disaster of epic proportions, and now Amazon still has to figure out what they're going to do with season two. We saw what happened when they tried to blame the fans that completely blew up in their face. Didn't matter if it was after the first trailer that got destroyed. Didn't matter if it was all the different actors and actresses and producers coming out and talking shit about the fans, calling you a bigot if you had any criticism about this. Well, now the writing is on the wall and Amazon's being forced to answer some of these questions about what they're going to do for season two. And even though Jennifer Salk's trying to push it off and say, trying to paint this as anything but a success, I won't tolerate that. It sounds like some people associated with this production are starting to change their tune to do damage control. And that would be Morphin Clark as Galadriel. After previously telling critics to shut the fuck up, Rings of Power actress Morphin Clark now says, if I was on the other side, I'd also be feeling like that. Well, you know what? This is a little bit too little too late for most people, but let's see what she has to say. During the lead-up to the release of The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, Clark took it upon herself to insinuate critics of the show and its radical changes to Tolkien's lore were racist. We talked about this when this happened. So many members of this cast and crew were determined to attack fans at all costs, take no ownership over how bad this show looked and how bad the show actually was when it came out. Instead, just attacked the fans. In August, she posted to her Instagram stories writing, anyone sending hate to my black castmates can get off my page, get off the internet, and shut up. Uh, that assumed, the, the way that's painted is like, oh, they're being racially attacked. No, Amazon is being attacked for the casting of some of these roles, for race swapping some of these characters in Tolkien's world. That was happening. People were looking at this and saying, no, this isn't how Tolkien described these characters. This isn't right. What is Amazon doing? What are these castings we're hearing of right now? This is insane. This is ridiculous. But that tried to get turned into, oh, you must just hate black people. Look at these racist attacks on my black castmates. What else did we have here? Follow the short video of her castmate, Charles Edwards' as Kella Brimbor, making a hand motion that reveals the phrase, shut the fuck up. She then captioned it, writing, who made this? So telling fans to sit down and shut up. Well, guess what? These fans didn't show up and watch your dog shit show, Morphid Clark. Maybe now that's why you're changing your tune. Not only did Clark insinuate the critics of the numerous changes were racist, but she demanded those critics be silent. On top of this, she would also attempt to defend the radical changes the show made by making nonsensical argument that no one could have known what Tolkien wanted or liked, despite him explicitly writing it down. I, I would say there's not too many people that have created a world as vast as this that have written down and been more specific about how some different people and races look than Tolkien. But hey, she told Inverse, Tolkien was a really complex person who wrote a really complex world, and this idea that anyone would know exactly what he would have wanted or what he would have liked is, I feel, nonsense. You know what? It is. You can't know what he would be okay with, so you should probably just go with what he wrote down. That's probably what you should go with, right? That's not what Amazon decided to do. However, her tone has seemingly changed. In a new interview, Clark was asked, now the first season's aired, how are you taking in the feedback for your character in the show? She was despised as Galadriel in a show that was despised by Tolkien and Lord of the Rings fans, in a show that failed disastrously. The most expensive show in television history was a failure. Let's see how she felt. She replied, because I'm a fan of this type of genre, I've read books that have been turned into things, and I've been like, I don't think the house would have looked like that, so I really get it. What's so wonderful about these worlds and these characters, they don't exist, yet they do so intensely in so many minds. So I think there's an idea that you can't please everyone, but also I do respect the ownership of her because I know if I was on the other side, I'd also be feeling like that. I feel very protective about her. I feel quite protective of making sure she's safe from harm. So you're saying that if you were on the other side, if you saw what was put on TV, you'd also be pissed? Is that what you're trying to say with this? 
Are you trying to change your tune and be like, hey, fans, I'm with you, fans. I don't like this. It doesn't seem like you're really going all in on that, but you're trying to hedge your bets. You're trying to win this fan base back to your side by pretending like you sympathize with them while you continue to participate in the destruction of this character. Interestingly, Clark admits Galadriel is mischaracterized in the first season, albeit she appears to tacitly justify the decision. Quote, so last season, I think her grief was so intense. Her sadness was so huge. I think when you're in those points of ultimate lows, you end up becoming self-obsessed. You can't see anything beyond the haze of misery. And now that has started to clear. Hopefully she's rediscovering the beauty of life and what she was trying to protect the whole time. That's something I love about Tolkien. You need to be connected to the world and those around you. Yeah, it certainly sounds like you're doing damage control. Like the rest of Amazon, trying to do damage control after thinking you could shit on fans, after thinking you could destroy these characters in the world of Middle Earth and people would just be totally fine with it. Maybe you're starting to realize that you were wrong, that you can't afford to continue to do the things that you've done. Maybe people are going to go on a quasi-apology tour. Of course, not actually apologize, because that's not what Morphin Clark did. She just said, you know, we really wanted this character to look a little bit different. We're going to really let you see the real Gladriel next season. I don't think people are going to be tricked into this. For a lot of people, it's far too late for anything to change with this series, with what they've already done. Let me know what you think about the failure that is Rings of Power and what Morfid Clark recently said about sympathizing with people's complaints on Galadriel. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.